My name is Samir Sheikh and I'm a second year law student at Boston College Law School. My hometown is Windsor, Ontario, Canada. In the four years after uh, my undergraduate at the University of Pennsylvania, I worked for the Grameen Foundation in Washington, D.C., an organization that helps to support microfinance institutions all over the world. Microfinance is a concept, is, is a belief that people of all types, from uh, all ethnicities, of all genders, have in them an innate ability to be entrepreneurs. The idea is that by providing them with this capital so that they can start their own businesses, we can help poor people extricate themselves from cycles of poverty. What he was doing in his microfinance and business and the whole concept of people paying back without collateral, without security, which is fascinating, and concepts of respect and reputation being important factors in the repayment of debt. So we had a lot to talk about. My name is Ingrid Hillinger and I am a professor of law at Boston College Law School. And my specialty is basically business law. I've been teaching at Boston College Law School for 24 years now. Microfinance and its providing of loans or the provision of loans to poor people um, has the ability to help a lot of people, but if misused, could also be used as a way to exploit poor people. And the belief that by creating a regulatory system, we could in fact protect borrowers as well as create efficiency in the market. I realized that a law degree would be the most useful tool in addressing the issue of regulation and creating an ethical standards of practice or a regulatory framework, as you will. When I started law school, my, my intention was to keep my head down, come to school in the morning, and work all day, come home, keep regular work hours, and treat this very much like a formal job that I had always had. What I found when I joined Boston College Law School was that was not possible. It was not possible because so many of the activities and so many of the opportunities really sort of enveloped me. Hi, Professor. How are you? I'll never forget my first day of classes at Boston College Law School. My first class was contracts law with Professor Ingrid Hellinger. I remember making uh, somewhat of a rookie mistake and sitting in the first row. Uh, Professor Hillinger called on me, and I remember just sitting there like a deer in headlights and not knowing how to respond to a question she had asked about the reading. I remember the first time I encountered Samir in class, and it was... Um, the way one encounters most first semester, first year students, which is they're scared to death. They have no idea uh, of what's going on. And um, I think Samir had a deer in the headlight reaction to whatever I asked him. If I had asked him what his name was, he would not have been able to answer the question. And I figured one way to get students less afraid of me was to invite them up in very small groups at the beginning of the year um, for what I call high tea. Everybody goes around and talks a little bit about themselves. And when we got to Samir, everybody wanted to stop and basically spend the next three hours talking about what Samir had done before he came to law school. One of the things that I tell all the students at high tea is they need to get a mentor um, because they're going to need someone who will write them a letter of recommendation or advise them on course, course selection or help them network and find a job. I'm pretty sure that he wasn't my formal person, but he adopted me and I adopted him. Uh, she does in many ways uh, take on this sort of motherly role in addition to being one of the best professors I've ever had. Uh, that she is one of the warmest and kindest people I have ever met. Uh, she has become not only an instructor to me but also a mentor. His dream is basically to preserve microfinancing, to establish an international regulatory system. And it's, it's a wonderful dream, and I think he's going to do it. But figuring out how he's going to get there is another matter, and there are lots of different ways. I'm trying to help him meet as many people that can help him do what he wants to do. That's what I see my job as. Professor Hillinger has encouraged me not to take the most obvious route after law school. She's put before me a lot of opportunities that I would, did not consider previously, uh, both in terms of my academics as well as my career. Uh, in doing that, she's also made it very clear to me that there was no right answer with respect to the question of what to do after law school, and that the most important thing to do was to find something that you love and to pursue those interests.